addition stage three. This is a method that should be secure by the end of year two. However, similar to stage two, it's a method that all children should be able to use. Stage three involves a number line, just like stage two. However, in this case, the number line is blank with no numbers along the bottom. It's the children's job to put the numbers there themselves, depending on what the calculation is. So let's take a look at a calculation. 38 add six. The, the starting point for the method is similar to stage two, which is great, in that we take the first number, 38, and that goes at the start of our number line, 38. Now, rather than taking steps of one, for instance, 39, 14, and so on, we encourage the children to take jumps with this method to save time in solving the calculation. And the first jump we'd always recommend the children take is to the nearest 10. So if we're starting with 38, the nearest 10 is going to be 40. So we jump from 38 to 40. And as we can see there, that means we have taken a jump of two. So at the top, we record add two. Now, children using this method should be able to quickly look at the calculation and see, I need to add six, but at the moment I've only added two. I can find the difference between six and two, which is four. That means my next jump needs to be a four to find the answer. So we will draw one more jump of plus four. We would look at 40, add four, which gives us 44, which is the answer to our calculation. So as you can see, rather than jumping in steps in one, we have jumped to the nearest 10, we have calculated the difference, and then we have made the next jump to find the answer. That is addition stage three. I hope that was clear.